Hey everyone, welcome back to channel. Today we're back in a pumpkin bread. I have not done my little punching intro in ages. I guess I'll do it again. Boom. Today, we're back in builder mode, all right? PETA builder, not really, a, I'm not a builder builder, but PETA builder for the time being is back. We're gonna build a Victorian house today, but actually, <laughs> let's add a little twist to it. We're doing modern Victorian. Obviously, with the most recent update, pretty much got ourselves a Victorian set. Not a really, like, ex really expanded Victorian set. Okay, actually, there's a decent amount of Victorian items. End tables, coffee, dining even like things for the living room we got some you know office sort of things and lighting if there's a new set i have to do like a house that has these things in it so yeah modern victorian because i can't be bothered doing a hyper realistic super realistic insanely detailed um victorian house because these days the blocksburg building standard is too high for me trying to improve okay so i looked up modern victorian house i actually kind of want to try this type of thing i believe this is a 3d like mock-up design like i don't think this is a real house i think it's a 3d what if plan i do like this house it's really interesting so it has elements of a traditional like gable you know roof and all of that but also you have your victorian element which is like this coned pyramid roof sort of thing going on here and i love how it's a balcony i really like how it's a balcony and you also have like a mini pretty much like a porch but it's also like a gazebo underneath it modern victorian hee <laughs> not gonna lie this fall grass is not it for me anymore i'm just gonna go back to like green even then if it's fall there's still green grass right so we're going back to green yeah something like that all right so let's begin with the easier parts of the house first i'm gonna go with ooh, maybe back one more i'm gonna go with let's do three here one and two here we'll do my, like three a three by three i guess like that Ugh. i just know this side of the house is gonna be oop i just know this side's gonna be a bit more like tricky okay, and then we do one more here and then i don't know i'm just going to wing it then again i'm doing the inconvenient way of building i just need to visualize all right i need to visualize this might be ugly it's a good chance it could be very ugly i'm already i'm not liking it let's see let's do two instead it's all about the balance of things okay it's about some balance okay now this part is where things are gonna stick out more like this is where the stick out you know what i'm gonna do right now i'm actually just going to we have the new like yes it is okay i'm gonna make use of the awnings we got and i'm gonna put it like there it's <laughs> that's a great start okay the roof for this oh this is gonna be a fun part let's do the hip roof am i doing this all in one video or am i doing this a two-parter i haven't even figured that part out myself yet <laughs> i have not figured that out i don't know if i want the i don't want the pyramid roof too pointy for me this is not supposed to be that pointy the pointiness is at the top of it i'm telling you this is the most challenging part of the house for me i don't know what it is there's there's some stuff here i'm gonna wrap it at least to like this much at least that much okay we we'll do a flared roof there okay and then we bring the pyramid you're probably like what is happening hold on wait okay we bring the pyramid right here and then we just kind of you know so pointy i wish i could raise it up without it being pointy is that possible do i know how to build i don't don't answer that question. I don't want you to answer that. You're gonna have to accept the the building looking like this for now, okay? Let's do the square pillars. Yes, we'll do this. I'm gonna put one around here as well. This kind of, you know, it could be like a mini gazebo. Like, it has gazebo vibes, but not really a, like a gazebo. Let's do that. Oh, that looks a little bit more interesting, doesn't it? Yeah. That is a good porch, though. I think that's a pretty decently sized porch. Actually, let me do the porch, porch before I finish up this house. We're gonna go with the... I'm gonna use a flat roof for the porch. So I'll make it out of wood or something. Raise it up a, a good amount. I think that's a good amount. And we can basic shape like the steps and stuff. Super, super fun, right? That's so fun, I love that. And I'm actually gonna draw out the path right now. We're gonna make it swirly. We're gonna make it curvy, a curvy path. I'm not doing this in one go. Peter Brett finishing his path in one try. Nope, that's not gonna happen. Oh. That's not bad. There needs to be more though. Hold on, let me see if I can add some more to this. There we go. It has more oomph to it, if you if you know. All right, let's 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 close up this house for once, you know? Like actually, let's close it up. Uh, close up shop here. Maybe this will be a two-part series because lately I've been trying to do more two-parters because then I have more time to work on exterior and not be like such a rush to finish a video. So I think this is a two-parter. I've officially declared it. Now let okay before I actually okay before I actually close up this house, let me figure out this whole like 
balcony situation that's gonna be out here, you know? I'm gonna put out some, like, traditional French doors that's entered. Yes, I hope so. How is this gonna be functional, you know? Like, what? Okay, there we go. That, I feel like, is a bit better. You know, these supports out here. It doesn't collapse into it, I don't know. And then let's add another one here. There's supposed to be like four supporting pillars. Okay, this balcony is more of an illusion than it is actually a function. It's more of a decoration. Okay, I don't know if you knew that already, but this balcony is more decorative than it is actual functional. Like you could actually come out here, you know, but will your experience be really nice? No, it won't be. It won't be a good experience. You're gonna be like on a, on a slant entire time yep that's the way the cookie crumbles cookie crumbles crumble cookies okay there you go just don't look at it close enough all right all right just don't look at it i'm gonna get some windows going i'm gonna get some windows going we're gonna get some traditional i don't know if i should do modern what kind of windows there i'm gonna get a smaller traditional window here and kind of shrink that a little bit it's gonna look a little silly and then definitely need another traditional window here Okay, now I close up the house. After 10,000... After 10 billion years, I'm now going to close up this house. So I'm gonna put a gable roof going this way. This is exactly what's like in the photo. Bit of thickness on that. And I don't know about overhang. We could do a little bit of overhang. We'll do this much, and then we're gonna have another gable roof going inside this one, like this. That one's perfect, because it's supposed to face that way. Yay! Okay. Not bad. Alright, that's all closed up. Oh, it looks just like a traditional house. <laughs> it looks exactly like a traditional house. I hope we get more window types. Like, I hope we get more windows. Like, I really do. I really hope we get more window types. And obviously make your own custom windows, but do I have the patience for that? Absolutely not. Okay, this is going to be a decorative piece on my roof. Now, let me get this situated real quick. <laughs> let me get this situated. I'm gonna add a floor here. <laughs> what is that? What is that? I don't know. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me just add some detailing. I'm gonna add a little piece right here. A piece right there. Add another piece here. And another piece there. This is a lot of work, mate. A lot of work. Just for the detailing of this. Crazy. Yeah, I could actually... I could... If I wanted to, I could be a detail builder. I could be. But do I want to spend five hours on a small thing? No. No. I'm not cut out for realistic builds. <laughs> we don't talk about it! We don't talk about it! <laughs> These railings are actually pretty decent for the ones down here, so I think I'll just do that. Maybe I'll use the, the metal ones though, because that's the steel cable, because that's what it looks like actual photo, so I'm going to put those down there. And the only way we can access is through this little, little squeeze, but it'll be fine. I don't know, is this modern Victorian? Uh, I think I just need to do the colors and it'll look a little bit better. I need to do more windows. I'm gonna do the interior very soon though. If I'm actually gonna post this like tonight and make this into a two part series, I'm gonna be posting the interior like very soon. Maybe like the day after tomorrow, I don't know. I wanna use that Victorian set. We're not even using the Victorian set yet. I'm just building the landscaping needs some work. We need to do some landscaping. I've been noticing the cypress trees too. Maybe we could put some of the- We need more luscious things. What if I use like the- I'm gonna use the cherry blossom trees. <laughs> I'm using the cherry blossom trees. There's nothing you can do about it. One of these, boom, you're set. You are set. Nothing too bright. We need bushes. We need bushes. Let me get like a berry bush up in here too. Just add some extra like berry varying colors. I don't know if I want to put the hydrangeas. I just want some regular bushes. Can I like change it to the leaves as well? Let me do that. You know what I always wanted in this game is a spray tool for like terrain and stuff. So like you could spray paint dirt. I'm gonna just I'm gonna do this. I'm not actually going to. Cause in Sims 4 they have this tool called like the spray painting tool for like terrain and stuff. So you could like actually spray paint. A certain amount of like dirt but i don't know how that would work in this game so it's definitely a potential future idea would we'll love a spray tool in this game like a spray feature like so you can control how much dirt ability you get i don't know you just it like landscaping to me is like a salad okay you put down a bunch of greens and hope it works out landscaping is a salad because it is it's a salad yeah i need to just start using like dirt piles instead of trying to make like floor dirt that's probably one of my biggest problems when I landscape, is using floor as a dirt. 
instead of using the dirt piles that I could do like this, they are more shape for real. And then you could put like, you know, bags of soil and stuff, you know, if you want to make it look like in progress. I saw some people build hacking these to be pillows that you can hold. Like, okay, I'll hold my pillows, dirt, bag of soil. Sure. Okay, that doesn't look the worst. And I'm gonna even add more tree types because clearly I need more. Oh, this would be nicer. What if I do that? That's cool. I don't know. Just do a blue one and then we'll do like a, a purple one or something or a red one. Actually, a red one would be maybe I'll do all red. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need a yellow one. That actually looks so much better than... Okay, maybe not this. Slowly but surely, we're getting somewhere. What if I lined up this entire path with the dirt piles like this? Because that's what it is in the photo. They're doing this. Okay, it's like lining up the path. Sure. Sure, like why not? Yeah. Alright, and then... Now, they do plank siding... I'm so tempted to do vertical just because it makes it more modern. Like, it really is going to be a modern Victorian house if I use this one, right? And I do like this color. I actually kind of like Victorian homes. I just don't know if I'm really good at making them. I don't think I am. But let's just add this everywhere. We'll do that. Now I'm going to get into more detailing by making roof trims. Yay! I'm so excited. I'm not using that. I am using the wooden planks. It's my personal preference of a siding, like a structural material, so I will stick with this. You can use the square beams if you like. I'm sticking with my... <laughs> I'm sticking with these, even though these probably look weird. I want to make more detailing. A bit more detailing than I normally would. And then I'm going to add some around the pyramid roof or hip roof. I don't even know what this is anymore. Around this roof, just so it looks a bit more interesting, I guess. There's that. Okay. And it kind of and it kind of cleans it up too. If you think about it, it's just like cleaning up stuff. Without it, you will see all of like the skeleton. All right, I'm actually really liking that. I guess I'll put one here too. I don't know. I think we may have to go with the side planks, plank side, whatever horizontal planks, because then that would be more. Oh, I wish this looked more modern. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'll try to find the angle. Okay, let's move this tree like over here or something. I feel like it's kind of blocking something there. I think it needs a lot more detailing to be super Victorian, but that's okay. This is the most basic Victorian house I can make. Oh, there you go. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Okay, the chimney helps a little bit, maybe. Okay, and while we're out here, I'm going to add in some like chairs, just some seating. I use the Victorian end table, even though it won't really look that great. I just want to... <laughs> <laughs> I should just use the Victorian set outside. <laughs> I'm just so I could say I used it. Oh, they don't. Oh, I could I could use it though. Like it'd be kind of weird. Like this is more of an indoor furniture than it is outdoors. I could totally do that. What's wrong? You know? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the blue. I'm gonna go with the sand blue texture. Oh, and then I'm going to put an American flag <laughs> to make this super realistic. We're gonna add a flag. Is the flag in the frames? Where is? Where are they? Are they like a? I'm really making it like a American modern, I guess. Ah, that scared me. Okay. Ooh, free money! I love it. USA flag. You know, just like why not? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, that totally, that totally set the tone for this. Okay, I actually forgot to do the backyard. Let me do a little bit of the backyard. I think then we'll be finished with the exterior for the time being. I definitely will do more of the exterior off camera, but we can just do that for now. I don't have to do too crazy. I'll just put, I guess I'll just line it up with a bunch of trees. But you know what? I'm gonna call it quits right there. Second part of the Victorian house will probably be like a day or two. Um, because I really want to, I really want to finish this house. For modern Victorian, sure, I guess this is passable. It's not bad. But yeah, here is a look at it for now. It actually looks pretty, pretty similar to the photo. Like, you look at that, look at this. Oh, maybe I need to look at this, that. You know, it is similar. But anyways, um, I actually kind of like it. It looks like your American modern Victorian take on a house. Definitely does. Um, I feel like I need to add just a few more windows on certain parts of the home and then I'll be kind of set. Or a realistic, I guess, approach. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Not super realistic, but like 
actually realistic to where it's like not like overly detailed you know that's what i think of realistic it's not too overly detailed like they're super realistic and then there's just realistic um, this is what you would probably see in real life actually though anyway guys that will basically wrap up today's uh, part one of my modern victorian house apparently um if you guys enjoyed this episode you found it interesting uh inspiring in a way make sure to leave a big old thumbs up and make sure you Actually, isn't there a new feature now where they say if you hit the like button, make sure to like and subscribe if you really did enjoy it. Because uh, apparently in the YouTube app, there's like special effects. If I say that on your phone or like your iPad, let me know. Because I don't know. They said they added something like that like and subscribe. Anyways, hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you're already. It's completely free. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, bye. You know, it's actually, I kind of like it. It's pretty realistic. It's pretty realistic. Let's Okay, it's pretty good. I think it's cool.